Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. Yeah, I'm very upset because I did a talk and the camera just dead like literally. So yeah guys, I haven't really been filming much on this channel, like of me talking directly to you guys. There have been like a couple vlogs and some tip videos and whatever, but I feel like I need to speak more to you guys directly and share like some of my thoughts on things and there's a lot I want to do. Um, people have been asking questions, somebody asked me about like my skin routine, which is amazing. <laughs> like my skin routine is amazing. But I mean, yeah, so there's like definitely videos I really want to make. Um, but I haven't, I've either not had the time or not had the resources to make those videos. And I mean, I'm really also just like I'm a perfectionist, and that is one of the reasons why I don't post many videos because, like, literally, I have so many different ideas, thoughts, and things I want to do, and then I'm just like, yeah, I'm not gonna do that perfectly, so I'm not gonna do it, and that's one of the things I'm trying to get out of. And, um, the other day, this girl was doing my hair, and literally, we were just having like the best conversation ever and she started telling me about like these four agreements and um, they're like to be impeccable with your word and don't take anything personally don't make assumptions and always do your best and I that hit home so hard with me because those are four things that I literally just need to like like tune into myself and channel and just always remember like always be impeccable with your word do what you say you're going to do speak the truth be like just speak positive things into life and yeah be impeccable with your word don't take anything personally who takes things more personally than me like like <laughs> it's ridiculous don't make assumptions who make assumptions more than me <laughs> oh my gosh and always do your best like i mean yeah, we all have those moments and those things that we always do have heartedly because they're not our passion and I really don't like doing things I don't believe in or things that don't resonate with me completely but there are things in life that you have to do like school <laughs> and um, work and you should always do your best in each situation so there's that and those are some of the things that I really really want to just like hone and just perfect like, even though I'm trying to let go of this whole perfect kind of thing because it's been hindering my life. But yeah, I want to be a better person, and that is everybody's goal in life. If they're like forward, the upward thinking, like everybody wants to be better, and that is where the fearless challenge comes in because this whole like all of the negativity in my life comes from being afraid of failing and not doing something perfectly and so I need to be fearless and live up to my name um, just like and just be not fair like failing and not fair doing something wrong and you know like literally I'll think of a video to make and I'm like oh well I can't execute that perfectly and I can't no I need to just make the video and don't like today I literally sat here and I was just reflecting I was happy I, you know like I came home I was just chilling just sitting down about to read a book or something and I just started thinking about like all the different things that are me Shani Sinclair and I, I was thinking about like why don't I say some of these things on camera like why don't I share some of these things I have a whole list of to make the videos and I'm just not doing it and why is that because I'm a perfectionist I need to start doing the things that I say I want to do and I can't let not wanting to fail at doing it stop me from doing it like that don't make no sense it don't make no sense so we just have to stop doing it yeah so guys the book I'm reading right now is Power of Habit this one right here yeah, so when I'm done I'll give you like my key takeaways and the things that resonated with, the, with me the most and um, how I'm going to implement what I've learned from that book into my life so this little fearless challenge thing is one accountability for me so I want you guys to keep me accountable two is 
it's sharing my journey so that you guys can apply it to however it applies in your life and there is a way for me to make more videos on youtube which i need to do so yeah things i'm pursuing this semester well the three things i want to focus on are right up here on my wall on a little sticky note the three priorities it's a school self-improvement and creating school self-improvement and creating school self-improvement and creating that is what my main focus is that is what my energies will be invested in and it's really 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 hard to cut out distractions and it's really 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 hard to focus when there are so many distractions on campus and around and there's so many great people to spend time with and waste time with but but i know what i want out of life and i'm going to get it by focusing and cutting out those distractions so that's really what i want to share with you guys today i want you guys to know what's going on um ask me questions uh whatever like just let me know what you think of this fearless challenge and if you're going through something in your life that is pushing you to try and improve and um just be a better person in general share that too like let me know what's going on let me know how i can help books i can suggest and things and things if you look at my little bookshelf you see i have a lot of stuff up here some good stuff i need to get to it but yeah so there goes the fear challenge bye guys thank you for watching when i tell you i went hard for my room this year like i decor the hell out of this room so i know that you've been seeing a lot of it in the background of my videos that haven't actually given me like a room tour slash dorm tour which i will do but i am a perfectionist and i i can't show you the room till it's done like there's two more things left to be done and i can't show you the room like in its entirety until everything come together and it just it's perfect and that's what i'm waiting on i'm literally waiting on the thing to come in the mail so that i can do whatever it is don't worry about it it's